Hi, my name is Barb Smith. Did you know the Bible talks about the gift of hospitality? And in this podcast, I am interviewing Kate Fisher about this supernatural gift. Welcome to a podcast by OpenTheWord.org, where we discuss a bit of Bible, a bit of life, and a bit of politics. I have known Kate for many years, and she currently serves as a women's pastor at Celebration Church in Regina, Saskatchewan. And she is as close to an expert on hospitality that I know because she lives it. Welcome, Kate. Hi, Barb. Kate, I know you've studied this subject. So what does the Bible have to say about hospitality? Hospitality is spoken over and over again in the Word of God. And specifically, I I searched out what was being said by Christ in the Gospels. Our Greek word, actually, for hospitality is philoxenia. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it means love of strangers. And that completely supports Christ. Jesus talks about hospitality as a gateway to salvation. In Luke chapter 7, and this is from the, the message, the wretched of the earth have God's salvation through hospitality extended to them. And even in the early church, God used hospitality to bring others into the kingdom of God. In the book of Acts, In the second chapter, it talks about how they broke bread in their homes. They ate together. And this is the part that I really like. And the Lord added to their numbers daily those who were being saved. Yeah, I think we've really undervalued the importance of hospitality, even in the growth of the early church. But I know you have also talked about the gift of hospitality. What exactly do you mean by that? When I was studying, I came across 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 9. It talks about the practice of hospitality to one another. It goes on to talk about how it's important to offer it to foreigners and guests and people in the body of Christ. It goes on to verse 10 and it describes hospitality as a gift that's received. It's a supernatural talent, a gracious divine endowment, a gifting of the Holy Spirit. I believe that God has natural gifts that he gives all of us. And that comes from um, what our parents have taught us, our culture, our environment. I mean, all of us have it. This is not the natural giftings that are given to you. It actually is a supernatural insert of the spirit of God and you expressing that through hospitality. And as we open up our hearts and our, our homes to others, God can use that supernaturally to heal the sick, to set the captive free, to bring people into the kingdom of God. It's bigger than you think. So do you feel like you have the gift of hospitality? I actually received a prophetic word. Uh, This was a long time ago. And the word went something like this. Kate, there's never too many people, never too many children, never too much food, never too many pets. From that point, I knew that I had a gift, a supernatural gift of hospitality. And freely, it was given to me, so freely I'm going to give it to others. So if it's a spiritual gift, have you experienced the Holy Spirit moving through this gifting? Our house has been open to just about everybody, anytime, anywhere. And we've seen how God has used our gift, my gift, my husband's gift, we kind of both have it, um, to heal the sick and to set people free. And it's, I could give you a tangible example. Would you like that? Please. All right. Okay. We've had um, a, a friend actually live with us. Larry and I, we have a boarding house and our friend Dan, uh, He actually is a missionary right now in Palestine. He had invited a friend over who actually was a Muslim friend. He'd met him when he was teaching English as a second language. This gentleman sat at our table. Um, Dan and him were intensely engrossed in a conversation about Jesus Christ. My husband and I, it was past our bedtime. We blessed Dan. We went downstairs while we were downstairs sleeping he actually led him to the kingdom. He became a child of God. That was extremely exciting for us to hear about. This gentleman came back one more time and we prayed for the filling of the Holy Spirit. Now, this was a very um, exciting time for this gentleman. 
he felt like somebody, he actually thought that there was a practical joke being played on him. Maybe some magic was in the room because he got stuck to his chair. He couldn't move. We later explained to him that often when heaven meets earth, our physical bodies will manifest and that feeling that he had wasn't magic, but it was rather the Holy Spirit filling him up. This man still loves the Lord, is walking in the fullness of his destiny and purpose. And it's a big amen from my point of view. The second thing that happened, and again, I mean, I've got lots of stories, but this one um, I want to share with you because we didn't know anything supernatural was going to happen. After church, we invited a friend over, quite a bit younger than my husband and I, a single mom. She came into our home. Uh, We had a lovely meal. She shared with us that she was actually on her way to the hospital the next day. There was going to be a procedure. And Larry and I, we prayed for her. We prayed for peace over her. We asked God to heal her because, you know, that's what you do. The next day, we got a phone call from our friend And she had supernaturally been touched by God. There was no procedure. She left the hospital in perfect health. And again, a huge amen. We weren't expecting something big to happen. But even when you do something little, if God's in it, something big is going to be the result. It's encouraging to see the Holy Spirit wants to give us a gift of hospitality. But I often get caught in the trap of wanting to have my house look perfect. How do you deal with that? I understand completely. I'm notorious for grabbing an empty laundry hamper and throwing all the clutter and then throwing that hamper behind the couch so nobody can see. And I've been caught off guard where I haven't had a clean dish in the house, but I have a china full of fine dining. So I will grab a box of macaroni. I'll throw it in and serve it on these fine plates and pray over it, take my hands off. And I always expect God to show up. And he always does. So expect the supernatural. God uses circumstances and happenstances all the time when you least expect it. Our house group was asked to host a party for a missionary from Vietnam. Now, I'm not quite sure how it ended up on our shoulders other than the fact that we had the biggest house. We had just actually purchased this house and had started extensive renovations. We pulled down walls. We were pulled up flooring. We were actually standing on the base floor. Our place looked like a barn. And then on top of all that, Larry's mother had passed away only two weeks earlier. But we made the best of it. We brought in all of our outside furniture and we made it work. We piled the boxes of flooring up and put a piece of plywood over top and threw a tablecloth on top of that. It became the table where all the potluck dishes ended up because it wasn't just our house church that showed up. There were a lot of others, maybe even uninvited guests that showed their faces that day. It was quite a party. The missionary from Vietnam told these amazing stories. And there was a a koinonia, a unity amongst everybody that was there. It was a love fest. And God showed up. There were people manifesting, slayed in the spirit, filled up, splashing over. It was supernatural. I set up hospitality and God showed up and worked within that. And it was the best party ever. People still talk about that party today. Thanks for sharing with us today, Kate. It's helping me deal with the struggles I have personally faced with hospitality. What would you like to leave with us in closing? I strongly believe that God represents us when we represent Him. He will bless us with a supernatural gift. And so when you open up your home, when you are hospitable to others, expect the unexpected. Again, hospitality is a supernatural gift expect supernatural thanks again for joining us on our podcast please check out our website at opentheword.org if you enjoyed this podcast please subscribe to receive notifications about our latest production as well please take a moment to provide a rating or even a review thanks again for listening